Hey guys, it's Anna Ruth again with another Daily Devo. Today we're going to be talking about Ephesians 2, 1 through 22. So if you haven't already done so, why don't you pause the video, go grab your Bible or your phone, and go ahead and read it. And we'll dive right in. Okay, so Paul, in the beginning of the chapter, he highlights how we were dead in our sins and transgressions. And this is a kind of death that comes from independent living from God, something that we all were at one point in time. And however, in verse 4, there's something incredible that happens. So let's read it. So it says that, but God is so rich in mercy and he loved us so much that even though we were dead in our sins, he gave us life when he raised Christ from the dead. So if you see that, you can catch that Paul describes God's character. God's character is that he's rich in mercy. And this is because we deserved his wrath because of our sinfulness. And we literally deserve it. So like there was nothing that we could do to um, ever prove to God that we didn't deserve it. We were sinful from birth and that it was like the trajectory of our lives. We were we were doomed to wrath, basically. And, but then Jesus took our place on the cross and showed God's incredibly great love for us through that act on the cross. And so when we think about how God is so rich in mercy, we have to remember that His mercy will never run out when we turn to Him. Never. Like, there's nothing that you could ever do that would cause God's mercy to just, like, run out on you. And because God is rich in mercy, He wants to show you mercy. But we have to be willing to turn from our sinfulness and turn towards God and what God wants and desires for our life. And then we can experience the richness of God's mercy. He, and He makes us alive in Christ. And so I just pray that you guys can really grasp that and run towards God's mercy. So let me just pray for us. God, thank you so much for what your son Jesus did for us on the cross, for dying for our sins. Thank you, Father, that you are rich in mercy and love, and that you love us so much. God, I pray that we would turn to you and put our focus and our hope in you. Amen. Have a great week.